Right, so, um, I moved back home. Uh, <clears throat> fuck. Um, basically, the apartment situation in New York did not really work out. So if you guys haven't really been keeping up with me, I'm not a Kardashian. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys haven't been keeping up, basically I'm in school at New York City. I got an apartment right after the semester ended and I moved in maybe three months ago in May. And guess what? It didn't really work out. But you know what? That's fine. Am I kind of sad about it? Yes. Am I kind of mad about it? Yes. Am I upset? Yes. All of those feelings are kind of valid because I literally basically failed. Like, I was in my flop era of becoming an adult. So that's why I want to talk about it today. Failure. I mean, I know I don't have a, a podcast, but I listened to Emma Chamberlain's podcast about failure and I was like, why don't I talk about my own failures too? It's okay to fail. Like, that's all I gotta say. It's literally okay to fail. Literally flopped so bad. I got an apartment that I was super excited for. I was so ready to be an adult and I just flopped. I just failed and it sucks because I had to accept that like, oh my god, this huge chapter that I just started literally did not work out and I'm still trying to figure that out because I literally just moved back into my home um, yesterday. All I gotta say is don't be ashamed if you have to go back home home and figure stuff out because that's why I'm back you know I'm trying to heal I've kind of gone through some stuff like since I started college and since I started becoming an adult and everything rushes super quickly when you become an adult once you hit college like right after freshman year's over just like okay am I gonna have that last year to be a kid and not really worry about anything or am I gonna like adult and I kind of was eager to become an adult I just had to live with that failure but you know that failure is gonna teach me a lot like I moved back here for the better I'm trying to I'm trying to heal from that. It's not really a mistake I'd say just because it got me to where I needed to be was it really stressful? Yes, because I put so much time and effort into creating my own space and trying to become comfortable with this new version of myself that I Started going in the direction of once I got my apartment, but it just didn't work out and you know it sucks It literally sucks that some things don't work out some failures literally suck I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I've been seeing people my age like get an apartment or they're super successful I kept comparing myself to them if you get anything out of this video is just to stop like comparing yourself to people because it just leads you in a really bad direction the amount of times I was like looking at youtubers or people saying I'm getting an apartment or moving into an apartment I thought oh my god they're 19 and they're moved to an apartment already like I'm gonna go get my own apartment no I'm literally like still a kid essentially like I'm still a teenager I just kept comparing myself to people and you know it led to failure and I'm kind of glad it led me to failure. Did I literally sob my eyes out two days ago about this? Yeah, I think I wouldn't have gotten this understanding if I didn't fail. I want to let you guys know, like I don't know if a lot of people is going to watch this video, but if people do watch this video, I just want to give you some advice. It's okay if you fail sometimes. It's okay if all the stuff that you work for doesn't really work out. The universe is just pushing you in that correct path and that's what I'm thinking all of this is. Yes, I have been trying to pay my like path I guess you can say in the direction I wanted but it sometimes doesn't always go that way yes it was going that way physically like I saw that oh my gosh I got my apartment at 19 I'm so excited I've always wanted this but that wasn't my emotional path I wasn't super happy in my apartment I was really drained all the time I think it was just like everything on top of each other like the fact that I was becoming an adult the fact that I had to start paying bills like it was a lot of responsibility and it was a lot to take in and a matter of two months two three months I was just not there for it I couldn't really take it it was taking a toll on me mentally glad that I got myself out of that hole if you guys are stuck in somewhat of a situation where you've worked so hard to get where you had to be it's okay to take a step back which is what I've learned it was so hard to even decide okay I think I might move back home because of the fact that everything I worked for was literally being reversed in a matter of like seconds reversing all of the progress I made moving to New York and everything but sometimes but everything's gonna be there in the end like New York's still gonna be there I'll go there when I'm ready so if you're just stuck and you feel like you're gonna fail like that's okay you're not failing I'm telling you guys it's okay to take that step backwards you're still moving in life you know like you may seem stuck but it's just the physical aspect of it like you're just stuck in one place all the time you don't want to spend even like a fraction of your time being miserable if something is making you miserable get out of that situation if you can you have the power in your hands to just leave
You know what I mean? Like, I was miserable in that apartment, and I just kept on trying to make light of the situation, saying, oh my god, I got my first apartment at 19. Everything's gonna work out in three months. And then it didn't. Sometimes you have to fail to learn lessons. What I've learned is that I have to start taking my time. Like, I'm an Aries. I'm a really impatient fucking person. But I just gotta take my time. Everything comes when it needs to. You'll reach a certain part of your life when you need to be there. And I was just trying to control my own life. Like, yeah, you can control your life, but some things are out of our control. Maybe pushing yourself in the direction that you've always wanted to be, but you won't feel right. Like, it didn't feel right to be there. Anyways, I'm blabbing now, but I kind of wanted to just have a little advice session. I don't have a podcast, though. I thought, why don't we pretend we're on FaceTime? I'm really excited, though, because I get to heal, and I want to take y'all on this journey with me so you don't feel alone if you're going through something similar. And all I gotta say is it's okay to fail. If you fail, just pick yourself right back up, bitch. That was it. Sorry, this was not really, like, my normal content. I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to be transparent. Like, I moved back home, and that's fine. And I have been getting asked a lot by people, like, why did you move back home? And I was like, it just didn't work out. Like, if people judge you for stuff not working out, but you pulling yourself out of the equation in order to better yourself, that's their beat. You're the one that is doing it for yourself. Other people should not have an opinion on it. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Um, sorry if it was super sappy, but I had to get sappy for a second. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok and subscribe if you want to see more of my face. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.